Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Let's start off with a song. Oh, someone tell me why I do the things I don't want to do <laughs> when you're around me. I'm somebody else. <laughs> someone tell me why I act like a fool. When things don't go my way When you're around me I'm somebody else Come on, sing it There is a reason, I guess Having once gone too far When you clean out the hive It makes me want to cry Still being followed by the team FBI, someone tell me why, <laughs> someone tell me why, oh yeah, a little guided by voices, a little guided, guided by voices, why is God saying it for me, oh that song goes out to a bunch of jack-offs, man, fucking bunch of jack-offs this morning, not having a good day, uh, you know, shit happens, man, fucking, that's what happens, man. So, uh, Marcus Conte reporting. Let's talk about the news. Let's talk about... I was reading the chords there. Oh, you caught me. You caught me. You caught me reading the news. So, let's talk about the, um, uh, the Tessa Majors uh, story because they have found the boy. They have found the, the 14-year-old boy, and they arrested and released him. So, we'll look at that story, but let's focus this first. Um, <laughs> Uh, interesting twist. Trump blames Justin Trudeau for being cut from Home Alone 2 in Canada. So Home Alone 2 is the video. Here's the clip. Hopefully you don't know. Thinking uh, about the GMC Yukon. So there's a, well, let's let the commercial pass. But there's a, um, d Home Alone 2 is a movie and Trump was in it. It's when Cauley McCollin, whatever his name is, is running through the Plaza Hotel in New York City. And Trump, he, he encounters Trump. It's a cameo appearance. And President Trump on Thursday joked about his cameo getting cut from Canadian Broadcasting uh, Corporation's version of Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. <laughs> Let's see if we can watch it. So here's the scene. Here's the scene. Ready? Where's the lobby? Down the hall into the... Excuse me. Where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. So that's the clip. It's just a, I mean, what is it, 10 seconds, 15 seconds? But they cut it out of the movie because why? Because it's Trump derangement sy syndrome, right? They fucking hate Trump. Right? <laughs> so I guess Tudor doesn't, this is Trump, I guess Tudor uh, doesn't much like me making, uh, making him pay on NATO or trade, <laughs> Trump tweeted, referring to Canadian Prime Minister Justin Tudor. The movie will never be the same, Trump added. Eagle Eye viewers had blasted the state-owned broadcaster as suffering from Trump derangement system syndrome early on Thursday after noticing the president's scene missing from the 1992 holiday flick when it aired this month. At least one person also pointed the finger at Trudeau. I bet Two-Faced Trudeau made the call directly to CBC and demanded they cut the scene or maybe just block it. So that's a pretty crazy, that's pretty crazy shit, man. Fucking, come on. He's a movie star. What are you going to do? You're going to ban all the uh, the Apprentice movies and, and all the, the wrestling shit that he's been in? Come on. That's, that's fucking stupid. So on a real note, let's watch the, uh, let's watch ABC. Week manhunt is let's watch ABC cover the story of Tessa Majors. Uh, they found the kid, the boy, whatever. Listen. Two week manhunt is over as police in New York City say they've located a 14 year old suspect wanted for questioning in connection with the murder of Tessa Majors. That Barnard College freshman fatally stabbed at a city park near campus. The team detained and questioned by authorities and submitting DNA tests before he was released. But police say they believe he is the one who stabbed her. Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef. Tonight, the NYPD announcing that major break in the murder of Barnard College freshman Tessa Majors. 
a 14-year-old on the run for two weeks who police believe stabbed majors to death, located and questioned, ending a massive manhunt that haunted the campus community. The city's chief of detectives tweeting, this was a significant development. Although he has since been released to the custody of his attorneys, the investigation remains very active. The police stressing lawyers for the teen were present while he was detained. Officials say the 14-year-old was found this morning in the Bronx, tracked using electronic surveillance, brought in, photographed, fingerprinted, and swabbed for DNA. Majors apparently fighting back during the apparent mugging, leaving bite marks on one of her attackers. A 13-year-old in custody, now facing a felony murder charge, allegedly implicating himself and two other teens from his middle school in the grisly crime. I think it should disturb any New Yorker when we have a, a child um, involved in something this serious. Attorneys for the 13-year-old cautioning against any rush to judgment, saying our client is a 13-year-old child who is presumed innocent with no juvenile record. All right, Ariel joins us now live from the scene where that stabbing took place. And Ariel, I want to go back to that 14-year-old who was apprehended and released this morning. He's not been charged? That's right, Tom. Police say that that 14-year-old who was detained and then released has not been charged. Pending the outcome of that DNA test, the NYPD is not commenting further, saying this is an ongoing investigation. Tom? Ariel Reshev with those new developments tonight. Ariel, thank you. Tom? So, so there you have it. There's the, uh, the, the background on it. They got the kid. It was an arrest and release. Um, there's the, the post has a little more on it. Uh, Bernard facility uh, faculty received racist robocalls. This is like a side story. Um, let me see. What else? Yeah. So Bernard uh, facility uh, faculty received racist robocalls related to Tessa Major's killing. This is a little side note. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, faculty at Bernard College have received uh, abhorrent, abhorrent and vic viciously racist robocalls related to the death of Tessa Majors, the school said. The disturbing messages were sent uh, from a white supremacist group. Ah, again, the white supremacist. I try to turn it into racist, right? Because the whites... Are spe <laughs> this shit is so reversed and so backwards white supremacist group to the landlines of faculty and staff at Bernard and its facility and its uh, affiliate Columbia University, according to the statement from Columbia. The contents of this message related to Tessa Major's recent death are whatever. They're ab abhorrent and vic vicious, viciously racist. Abhorrent and viciously. What is the comment? What is the comment? Read the state. Read the statement. Right? Well, we didn't read the statement. We just have a, an allegation, and the Post is covering that. I, I don't like that, man. So here's the brother. Here's my brother. All right, here he is, the 14-year-old brother that, did the, uh, that allegedly did the, did the deed. We don't know his name yet. Maybe it'll leak out. And um, the Post had some, here he is. So the Post had some interesting, comment, interesting things to add, so I just wanted to add that. Um, just look at the pictures for a second. So, so early that uh, early in the day, the cops took young younger teen into custody in the Bronx, brought him to Harlem Twenty Six Precinct Station House, where they executed a search warrant and swabbed his cheek with DNA, for DNA. He was released without charges to custody of his lawyers. Okay, we already heard that. The thirteen-year-old boy who's charged with second-degree murder as an accomplice. Um, as an accomplice, Major's death during the December 11 robbery in Morning Square Park has allegedly identified the teen who killed her. Right. There was something else. Um, he, they, there was a lot of fuck yous that were exchanged. Um, there was more to that story, but uh, apparently, what? Well, I'll just remember paraphrasing that uh, the 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 New York Post tracked down the kid, right? And they were taking pictures and the, there was family and kids around or guys or people around the 14-year-old stabber and they were like, fuck you, man, fucking motherfucker, don't come near me, motherfucker. That is that kind of talk, that kind of, that kind of lingo. So, uh, so you know, what, what have it. I, want, I also want to um, shout out to Defango. I was on Defango's show last night and, uh, 
I just want to um, let me get to the page. And I'll show you that we, we had a great talk last night, uh, uh, yesterday about 4 o'clock about the LARPers. So if that's your thing and you like the LARP stories, definitely um, watch this, watch this uh, discussion we had for about two hours. Two hours. I'm just trying to find it, and uh, I'll show you where it is. So where are we? Yeah, so, 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 yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. So Do both. So here's, uh, here's Defango and I. We... We really, um, we really kicked it yesterday. I don't want to play it, but here, you know, here it is. It's uh, Dave Acton, LARP suit, Defango, and Marcus Conti, uh, le legal nightmare. So if you're interested in the LARP stuff, uh, give this, watch this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Defango. He's also experiencing a very similar, you know, very similar issue uh, with the the stalker David Swaggart and his cohort, his co partner. Uh, Schoenberger. So, if you want to watch that, it's a, it, it was a, it was a good couple of hours that uh, that we kicked it. Right? It's very sad, you know. It is a sad reality that stalkers exist online. That um, they aim to disrupt, you know, disrupt normal discourse, and uh, you know, le level uh, <coughs> throw out fake lawsuits and such. So, uh, Defango and I kick it, and uh, that's an ongoing investigation as well. Very ongoing and. Um, very, very developing as we speak, where people are now uh, filing fake lawsuits. So we'll have a couple of, we have a couple of, uh, you know, uh, suspects that are going to be <laughs> hopefully hauled into jail and just cut it or just cut it out already. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so Marks Conte reporting.